AITA for taking the vegetables of my kids' burgers? I, 39F, have three kids, 6F, 9M, and 12F, my husband, 40M, and I decided a few days ago to take the kids to our local restaurant. As a treat, because we don't do that often, my husband is a bit of a health nut, and is very restrictive of the foods my kids eat, which is the main source of our arguments. On Thursday, we went to the restaurant, and the kids were super excited. The server was asking what the kids wanted, when my 12-year-old, we'll call her Emily, said, cheeseburger with bacon, my husband butted in and said, with lettuce and tomato, Emily's face immediately fell, my husband didn't even notice, and Emily looked super bummed, after the sever took our orders, my husband turned to Emily, and asked her what's wrong, she said that she didn't want lettuce and tomato on her burger, because she doesn't like them, he sighed and said that that they've been through this a million times. And having vegetables with every meal was super important. Emily looked like she was about to cry. She is neurodivergent and a lot of food tastes and textures really bother her. Tomatoes being a large one. My husband doesn't seem to care. Which really bothers me. When the food came, Emily didn't even touch the burger. So when my husband went to the bathroom, I took the lettuce and tomato off the burger, put them on mine, and winked at Emily. She grinned and gladly ate her burger. My husband didn't say anything about it. Until that night, he told me that taking the vegetables off was a violation of his trust. Because he was just looking out for our daughter. I told him that it was just one meal, and not having vegetables once wasn't a big deal. He said that those vegetables were very important. I left the room, and have been talking to him as little as possible. So Reddit, AITA for taking the vegetables off my daughter's burger? I think I might be ta because it's just lettuce and tomato. And my kids having vegetables is really important to my husband. But I feel like he was being super controlling. And I never want to see my child upset. NTA NTA NTA. This is setting your child up to have an unhealthy relationship with food. This is so important to understand. Associating upset and even shame with food is putting your poor child on an incredibly dangerous road. It's not just about the husband being super controlling, which he is. Like dude, yikes. There's a lot to unpack there. It's about how this will seriously mess up your child more than you might know. I pray this poor girl doesn't develop an eating disorder. That may sound extreme but that is a highly likely outcome of this. Posted something very similar to this in another reply. I just truly hope it op reads it. OMG NTA your husband is setting your kids up to have a horrible relationship with food. They are kids. They eat when they want and should have a say in what goes into their body. NTA. Emily looked like she was about to cry. She is neurodivergent and a lot of food tastes and textures really bother her. Tomatoes being a large one. My husband doesn't seem to care. Oh F that. Insisting on a treat meal containing a food the kid can't stand is just about control and is cruel. It's literally putting food ideology before her total well-being. If vegetables were so important, why didn't he tell her before ordering that she had to pick a vegetable with her meal? What your husband actually taught your kid is because he said so. Because if vegetables were the main part, he would have asked her to pick a vegetable as a side dish to have with her bacon burger. Even if he'd forgotten beforehand, he could have asked her what vegetables she picked. He didn't. He decided to punish a 12-year-old because she didn't pick a treat meal healthy enough to his. Liking and ordered a food that makes her unable to eat her meal. He's 100% the awe. Edit. I have four kids. Restaurant meals and parties. We do not insist on eating anything other than what they will actually eat. Why create a problem where there isn't one? 
And yes at least one of my kids pretty much ate only sugar at parties for years. Getting the kid to eat nutritious meals consistently was far more important than policing parties. And restaurants. NTA. Yes. Vegetables are important for people to eat. However. Not having them on a burger isn't going to change your daughter's health situation. And there are a myriad of other vegetables from which she can choose. Your husband needs to learn how to encourage your kids to eat a variety of foods and not dictate it to them. Dictating food choices will only make the kids hate them more and drive a wedge between the kids. And dad, I'm decades older than your kids and to this day. I cannot stand tomatoes or pickles. Yuck. And my parents did try to make me eat a tomato when I ordered a salad. We sat at that table for a long time cuz no way was I eating that tomato. And it's funny cuz my father won't eat cucumbers. LOL. Now we swap vegetables. LOL. Info why are you with a man who doesn't care about your child's disability? NTA but your hubby is. First of all a tomato is a fruit and second lettuce has very little nutritional value. Why not just order a side of veggies with her burger instead of insisting on having them as a burger topping? NTA. A piece of tomato and leaf of lettuce doesn't magically make a burger healthy. Tell your husband to not be such an overbearing dick. You need to take your husband to whoever he'll listen to and convince him to stop this behavior. His mother. A therapist. Show him this post. Whoever. Because this not how you teach your kids to make good food choices. This is how you give your child an eating disorder. And she already has difficulty with certain foods. I am going with Esh because this needs to be addressed with your husband rather than teaching your daughter to start hiding things from her parents. NTA. Your husband is wanting to be the father of children with eating disorders and a daughter who does not trust him further than I could sling the Statue of Liberty. Get the kids into counseling and keep protecting those babies mama. Esh. I grew up in a household with my mom much like you. Me and her had an and still have a super close relationship with her. But she regularly went behind my very loud dad's back to appease me. I wish she didn't do as much now that I see how much he felt like she sucker punched him every time. Your husband can and should give your daughter more control over what she eats. NTA. But if you let your husband control your children's eating like this you will be. Of course. Kids need guidance with making positive food choices. But their relationship with food right now is arguably more important. The constant pressure of eating healthy is going to land them just like your husband which seems like an unhealthy obsession. Eating disorders or other mental health difficulties surrounding foods can start and are so hard to get under control. NTA for the burger thing. But absolutely you should be reconsidering your relationship with a man who treats your children this way. NTA and as a child therapist who is specifically helping one of my quite young clients deal with the beginnings of disordered eating what your husband is doing is exactly how you give your kid ed. Google stuff on preventing eating disorders in children. Intuitive eating. And ND kids and food. They have different guts. Tend to need a lot more fiber. And deserve pleasure and ease in their eating especially on special occasions. His plan will not teach them to eat vegetables. It will teach them they cannot count on him to listen to them about their bodies which has far far more serious repercussions as your kids get older and have medical concerns. Sex and STI questions. Get bullied or assaulted. Etc. Hopefully of course none of those things happen. But if they do you want kiddo to trust their own body and trust their safe adults to listen to them. A child therapist would be so helpful.
We do a lot of parent education and help with taking differing goals and approaches and finding strategies that are healthy for kiddos and work for the parents. You didn't ask for all that advice but suffice it to say again. NTA and your kids are lucky to have you advocating for them even when it's really uncomfortable for you. I'm rooting for you all. NTA. There's very little nutritional value in lettuce and tomato so your husband can just suck on them. Ma'am please tell your husband to look into smoothies. He can creatively and kindly help his children to eat vegetables. NTA, your husband is a twat sander. Let the kid eat. Oh the great days of fatherhood. I remember when mine didn't let me eat pork steak only beef steak. I didn't like it at all yet it was less fat so if I wanted to eat that was the only thing I was allowed to eat. Many times I went to sleep hungry and sad. At 18 I reached 95 kilograms because of that. I ate so many bad things because I was free to do it. Why do parents do this? Just because you like the taste doesn't mean the kids will especially if you are going out let them have fun like you. NTA NGL, I wanna see the husband being force-fed something he doesn't like and see how he enjoys it. NTA I have two cousins, siblings, who are in their 60s. They had a texture as kids with meat. Their parents made them sit at the table long hours to finish their meat. To this day they will not eat meat. They say it bulks up in their mouth. Anyway, they do resent that one aspect of their childhood. NTA. As someone who once threw up because my parents made me eat raw tomato. It's hard to describe how big a deal, I don't like this, can be. Nothing about what your husband is doing is productive. Twisting kids' arms to eat arbitrary vegetables isn't going to make them eat vegetables long term. Which is the most important thing? You need to teach kids that some vegetables are good. Actually. And that they need to seek those out. As for contradicting your husband. It takes two to tango. If your partner makes a bad call and isn't listening to reason. Your hands aren't tied to blindly follow their lead. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.